I literally spent the last 30 to 40 minutes of my life reacting to the Warzone 3 Rebirth Island trailer reveal for season three of Warzone. And I reacted to the comments on YouTube, what people were saying on Twitter. I wasn't recording my desktop, man. I, oh my God, I'm just so stupid, man. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, but I'm gonna summarize what I said because dude, I, I wanted to have a video out today about Rebirth Island and I'm, I'm, I'm determined to have this video out, okay? Listen. I don't know what the Call of Duty community does. I was seeing tweets about how they're doing too much with, you know, being able to break prison and Watchtower and that people are expecting the original guns to come back. People are expecting for them to change everything back to OG Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019 stims, health, movement, guns, all that stuff. As a community, why are we thinking this? Like, do we not have brain knowledge to, to come up with... Like, I, I just don't understand. Like, I, it, me thinking about thinking of a sentence for this is hurting my brain, bro. Because, dude, how how have y'all been playing Warzone since 2019 and not know how Call of Duty works? Granted, integration between two Call of Duties is new, right? Relatively new. But they can't just revert all these changes in Season 3, bro. The, the patch is going to be huge, bro. And on top of that, they're going to cater towards casual players. So why would they change it for good players? They've done this countless times with how they promoted in Modern Warfare 2019 to camp in Verdansk and on top of tall buildings where there's only one entrance catered to casual players with so many things for the past Call of Duties, man. Also, Modern Warfare 2, they slowed down movement. That's a huge part of why Modern Warfare 3 had all these changes. I don't understand how to, as, as a community, we beg for one thing to be added back or changed and then we start wanting more. Like, you guys know it's not possible to just, just like that. Like... It takes time, you know, it, like for the guns to be added, they would have to remodel everything, get it into the Modern Warfare 3 engine and the Warzone engine that we have now, and then change all the stats and balance it for 150 HP for certain plates and all that stuff. It, it's just, it just makes no sense. I saw so many dumb tweets. I saw so many dumb arguments, so many dumb questions. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, I was, I, I'm disagreeing. I'm not even mad, but like, it, 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 it just shocks me how people come up with these statements. Art of Warzone was talking about how he is hyped about how the game will play with the new changes to prison and the lighthouse if you're able to destroy it. And somebody said, stop dick eating stop dick riding basically one of those two things you haven't even played the game so a, a guy a, a guy can't be hyped about something like like what is that logic you could be hyped about a video game that, that you've never played you've only seen a trailer for right and that's acceptable but when someone gets hyped for an update or something that will change the game you, you call them dick eating bro like what oh my god it like just oh my god it makes no sense it makes no sense how as a community how as a community like expect so many things like guys like, come on let's be honest with ourselves even though it shouldn't have been like like this we got to change the new outlook Modern Warfare 2, right? We had no movement back. Movement ain't the same like it was in Modern Warfare 2019, granted, but we still got movement back. We have balanced guns, man. We have balanced guns, dude. Like, the meta has changed so much within the last two and a half months or a month and a half, man. It's actually crazy. I remember a month ago, a month and a half ago, everyone really liked attack Evolver, whatever the, you know, one of the LMGs, right? With the tag stance. And then a couple days later, we, we all switched over to the Ram 7, right? And then we all switched over to the Bruin. Like, like the meta is always changing somehow, man. With all these small little adjustments and updates, right? It's not just always, you know, the same thing, which I'm enjoying a lot. And then, you know, people are saying that the meta has been the same since for the beginning of season two. It just hasn't, right? And like, I'm just seeing some of these dumb takes and it, it just... I don't know. It, it just amazed me, man. It just amazes me how dumb takes so many people can have. Like, listen, I'm fine with you having your opinion, but if it's dumb, it's dumb. Like, let's look at some of the tweets, man. I had some bookmarked. Let's go to Modern War Zone Rebirth Island trailer. Let's watch it. Let's leave the comments. Dead game, yawn, Apex better. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean, dude? Listen, the cheating in both games is awful, but at least for Call of Duty, we don't have players that are joining streamers and other people's lobbies right being able to join and being able to inject viruses and whatever the fuck you want to call it malware into the actual pcs of these players man it, it's crazy do not say that apac is better when you guys have a legit pc hacking problem dude i agree with this one the first half they need to make a permanent playlist for this and not a rotation map playlist i 100 agree i hate having to fish for certain maps bro like right now this week when I'm recording this, the quads map for resurgence is Yurzikstan. Just certain parts of it. Who wants to play Yurzikstan? The only reason why people are playing resurgence is because they don't want to play on big maps. Stop giving me the big map that nobody plays, man. The way they should have it is like this, okay? Whatever the most popular map is, which is granted going to be 
one of two maps fortunes keep or rebirth whatever the most popular one is after this update it should make whatever that map is which is probably going to be rebirth the permanent playlist map for quads trios duos and solos all right so i explained this horribly what i meant to say is that they should have a permanent playlist mode of the most popular map after an update so after the season three update whatever the most popular map is they see the data and all that stuff they make a permanent playlist mode where that map is all in quads trios duos and solos then have a rotational map playlist that's separate right that doesn't affect the permanent map playlist right and they should divide the quads trios duos and solos game modes between the four maps the small versions of Yurzikstan, vondel ashika and fortunes keep and they should just give one map one mode another map another mode and so on and so forth so yeah just to clear up the air and they do this for multiplayer as well they have small map mosh pit and then they have a plethora of game modes that that cater to other fan bases so why can't they do that in warzone why are they making us wait days for a map that we want to play with our friends like it just limits everyone being able to play with each other and it makes no sense warzone needs a permanent map playlist because it, it's getting ridiculous man i've had times where my friends and i have wanted to play Fortune's Keep, but it's on trios. Or we want to play Vondel, but it's on duos. There should be a permanent playlist for the most popular map of that week, of that month, whatever. It, it, it should, I hate the rotation map list. And another dumb tweet that I saw a lot was how people were complaining about the hole without even knowing, without even thinking, without even going back to what Call of Duty has done in the past with interactive maps, bro. It, they just thought that, oh, you know, that Rebirth was going to have a permanent big hole for every match that you load up into. Call of Duty tweeted out yesterday and today what the map icon looks like, man. They tweeted out a sky view of what the map looks like. And Prison and Light Tower were still there. On the map icon that they showed, Prison and Tower were not destroyed. So the only logical way they can be destroyed is by interacting with something or causing something to blow it up. I, I just don't understand how as a community. It just doesn't make sense. How do you not look back? at old cod maps right hell we even have an interactive map or interactive part in fortune's keep you can interact with the bridge and cause it to collapse or go up they're just expanding upon that like dude i don't know how call of duty could literally show you at the beginning it's not destroyed it's not it, it, nothing's wrong with it it looks like it used to back in the day but you somehow come up with the inclusion that just because they showed a part of it being destroyed that it's going to be like that for every single match when you begin it like oh come on man let's where just i don't know i i just don't know the the thing that i actually forgot to mention right i was gonna end the video i was, I was starting to do the outro but i just realized this people are expecting rebirth island remastered whatever you want to call it rebirth island in war zone 2024 to play out like rebirth mono Warfare for 2019 these people that are expecting this rebirth version to play like the mono Warfare for 2019 version i'm just gonna ask you guys this what makes you think that there are so many differences between 2019 to 2020 to 2024 in gaming and i'm gonna give you a couple reasons why rebirth now is gonna play entirely different not even close to what it was back in the day the skill base mass making the skill of players is a lot different the kind of weapons we have in modern warfare 3 is a lot different from what we have in modern warfare 2019 the health the 150 health the perks some of the perks are a little bit different they do a little different things the way people play now do i have to list more like i don't know how people are expecting just because a map comes back like people are gonna play the same like bro i saw this with fortnite when fortnite og came out everyone's expecting like oh everyone you know it's gonna just be exactly like how it was back in fortnite chapter one back in 2017 2018 no it, it, it was nothing like that it was just a ton it was, it was just a map but it, it was a lot harder to win and play which i'm not complaining about but like a lot of people were just not expecting it like a lot of people were just expecting it to play out the exact same way not realizing that times have changed people have gotten better the metas are different all that stuff like especially for call of duty it's more it's more apparent for call of duty because we don't have the same guns we don't have the same movement we don't have the same tactical and features that we had in modern for 2019 stims don't work the same movement's not the same the speed of everything's not the same it's not going to play exactly out like how it did in modern for 2019 and the fact that people are expecting this i'm i feel bad for them when they load up on april 3rd and they just don't expect it and i'm not even like mad at them for thinking about that i am just trying to show everyone or not even show everyone but i'm just trying to what i'm trying to say is that times have changed and you can't expect things to always stay the same or be the same when something comes back but no matter what as a community as a whole 
I'm glad everyone is hyped and happy. I'm, I'm glad people are joining into the conversations. This is why I love seeing on Twitter, on YouTube comments. I love seeing what people have to say because you can either argue, disagree, agree with them. Like it, it's it's not that serious at the end of the day, but I just love seeing everyone's reactions, man. So yeah, like I, I'm, I'm happy. I think we're, as a whole, as a whole community, as a Call of Duty Warzone community, I think as a whole, we are all happy. We're just excited you know for me this is kind of selfish for me i just wish that people realize quicker that it's not going to play out the same that's all i really wish and i hope that a lot of us give a lot of feedback rather than complaining we should get feedback on how call of duty raven activision can fix and make rebirth better for warzone man i i hope we can do that because the, the quicker we're able to realize that it's not going to play out the same the better Rebirth Island and Warzone as a whole will be in the long run. But yeah, it's been your boy Limit though, guys. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of Rebirth coming back. Enjoy my Discord server down in the description. Peace.